The New England Patriots addressed their need at tight end in the 2020 NFL Draft by choosing Devin Asiasi and Dalton Keene as their next tight end duo. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. And besides those two rookies, they do still have Matt Lacoste and Ryan Izzo on the depth chart. But clearly, Asiasi and Keene expected to jump into those starting roles and have an immediate impact. Would you say they have the most to prove this season? I would. I would go with Devin Asiasi as the most to prove. And the reason why is because the Patriots took him ahead of a lot of other tight ends that people kind of saw as graded higher than him and had a little bit higher on their boards. You know, guys like Adam Trotman are just sitting there. Harrison Bryant, Josiah DeGura, Bryson Hopkins. The Patriots had Devin Asiasi graded as the top tight end in the entire draft. They actually had him ahead of Cole Komet, also, who got drafted much higher. So they were really, really high on Asiasi. They were sold on his athleticism and his skill as a pass catcher. And he is really the type of guy that can come in here and be a big-time difference maker for them. So they're going to have to own up to that sort of trade up to get him the stock that they put in him being better than all these other guys and they really put him ahead of that entire group and now they're gonna have to go out there and and prove it to them and Dalton Keene could potentially be their x factor we're gonna get to that in a second but would you do you think that either Matt Lacoste or Ryan Izzo will stick around on the depth chart this season? My guess is that Lacoste will still be there. He was the best out of the bunch last year, and I realize that's not saying much, but when he was out there and he was healthy, he was a solid blocker and an okay pass catcher. You know, obviously wasn't moving the needle very much, but he did present something for them at that spot while he was out there. So my guess is, is with some rookies, they take the veteran in Lacoste, who's got some experience in the league, has shown that he can at least do some of the things that they want them to do with their tight ends, you know, run up the seam, block a little bit, that kind of stuff. So I think Lacoste will end up making this team and be, you know, the two rookies and Lacoste as kind of their tight end depth chart. Back to Keene, he was a little bit more of a surprising pick chosen earlier than most had projected him. Could he be the X factor? Could the Patriots have found another diamond in the rough with him? The biggest reason why I see him as an X factor is because of his role. We're not 100% sure how they're exactly going to use him right now. You know, at Virginia Tech, he was used as sort of an H back and inline tight end and a fullback and a running back at times and kind of this versatile offensive weapon, you know? And I I think that that's the most fun part about this selection with the Patriots is that Josh McDaniels, if he lets himself and he kind of opens up to it, is going to be able to be really creative with Dalton Keene. So I'm curious to see exactly how they use him in the offense. And I think that that could be a big X factor for them because it could be an identity setter. It could be a tone setter that they're using this guy as sort of an all-around, all-purpose type of offensive weapon, similarly to how the Niners use like a Kyle Juszczyk, where he's playing a little bit on the line, he's playing off the line in the backfield, he's getting, you know, fullback screens thrown to him, he's lead blocking, he's running with the ball a little bit. So I'm very curious to see how they unlock Dalton Keene, how exactly they use him. I think that could be a big-time X factor because if it works out and their plan works out, then he can be a big-time producer for them in year one. Absolutely. And for all the rest of our Patriots content, check it out on our website at clnsmedia.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.